couple of things about the service center experience before I forget. Uh, so now, a couple of things have changed. And um, one thing is uh, there is no more car washing. So now they can do vacuuming. So they said uh, it's there to um, kind of like reduce the environmental impact. That's tough. I miss guys. They were doing a really fantastic job with the cleaning. It looks like it just came out from the factory. So uh, it was like an added bonus or um, a perk when you go take your car to the repair center or the service center, you get it back washed, waxed, like even the tire, they put the, the thing on the, uh, the wheel to make it like really black and shiny. So it's awesome. And so that's gone. Now they don't do anything with paper. So I guess people complain too. Uh, people love to complain, guys. People really do love to complain. Um, so now they do everything on some, some kind of a board with a marker so they can kind of wipe it off. So paper free. I, I really support that. I, I love paper free stuff, even with the billing and uh, statements and stuff like that. So that is the other thing. And um, like my first uh, Tesla loaner uh, I got was directly through Tesla. So I got... Uh, a 2014 Model S, which was really old, had a lot of um, pet hair, which was kind of gross. Um, then I got another Model S 75D, which was really clean and nice, had like 50 miles on it. And today I got a 75D white. Um, so what happened was uh, Tesla used to do the loaning or the loaner program. Now they move to enterprise, so enterprise uh, kind of give you the loaner car. You have to sign an initial, and they only had Model S black ones. So I was like, you know, if I'm coming here to have my car serviced, I might as well just, uh, I don't know, try Model X, maybe Model 3, just for fun. You know, but they said, nope, you can only get a black Model S. And I was like, mm, okay, bummer. But today I got the white one, so I don't know what happened, you know. Um, it's kind of cool because I can uh, fool people into believing I have two cars, you know, because when they see the car, like whether 75D in a black or one P100D in a black, it kind of looks the same. But when you get the white one, it's like, hmm, did you, what happened to your car? So I tell people, you know, this is my uh, second car. I love Tesla and... Uh, you know, every day I drive in a black. Sometimes, you know, you want to change. So um, I bought another one. So they look at me like, wow. So I'm like, I crack up laughing. I said, hey, guys, I'm just fooling with you, messing with you. You know, um, I like to look rich. So they crack up laughing. It's hilarious. You should see the look on their faces. It's unbelievable. Um, yeah, so um, I don't know. I, I guess Enterprise got some white model S's. Um, and then I had to do, oh, they told me no pet, no pet in the car. So I'm like, okay, no problem, no problemo. Uh, I don't want to have any hair in the car either. And, um, yeah, and then they started taking a hundred dollar deposit. So I was like, what is that for? Like last time I came, you guys were here, you didn't do it. So I asked the lady because I was curious and she said, well, um, some people were abusing the loaner program, so they take the car, and then when their car is fixed, they go for a trip somewhere with the family so that they put the miles on the loaner uh, instead of picking up their car and putting it on the car. So I was like, man, that that should not happen. Like, why people do that? You know, this, this is stinks. So, yeah, people were taking advantage, I guess, of the, um, the goodwill of Tesla and Enterprise, so... Um, they said it's refundable, so they kind of put a hold on it, and then they kind of credit you back. So I'm like, okay, I mean, to be honest with you, I just want to get my P100D back um, and give them back the 75D. Um, nothing against it, but, like, I I missed the performance part. Oh, and one more thing that is really, really pissing me off. Uh, there is no autopilot on any of those freaking loaners. Tesla, if you're hearing this, please, please, please put the freaking autopilot on all of your loaners. I mean, it's one thing to go from P100D to 75D, but it's another not to have an autopilot. So 
today I was heading back um, home and I got stuck in traffic. And guess what, guys? Push, lift off, push, lift off, push, lift off on the E pedal or the basically the pedal. Man, I was like really tired. Like I used to engage autopilot and let it take care of things. So I have no idea. So if I have autopilot in my car, why can't you guys put it on the loaners? Like who give a damn? Like just put it there, let us use it. You know, uh, it's gonna give people a good experience. You know, I can't see why. Even if you don't have it, uh, just put it there, you know? Um, so I'm not sure what's the deal, but I really wish autopilot would be enabled um, on all the loaners. And before I go, I know it's it's been a long video. Um, it would be nice to erase all of the settings on the car. So let's say a customer brings the car back to the service center or to enterprise, they should wipe it off. Like uh, clear all the Bluetooth setting, um, any home addresses, any phone calls whatsoever, just for the, I don't know, protecting the privacy of uh, previous customers. Because I'm coming here, I have this Mr. Mustache, whatever, um, I have home addresses, all the previous destinations that people were driving to. I don't know. I mean, it would be nice to just have it a blank or uh, transfer the profile from your car to the loaner car. So let's say I come into this car, I log in with my username and password, and then boom, um, I get the seat settings back the way I love my seat to be, the side mirrors, all the other settings in the car. That would be really cool like you just walk in you log in or i don't know do something with the phone maybe they assign the car to you through the phone so you can even find it with the phone if you put it somewhere i know probably people keep it for a short period of time but it would be really cool to have the loaner inside your tesla app so you can kind of control it just like you would with your own car so the experience is better you know for tesla customers all right, guys, that was all the uh, stuff I wanted to talk to you about. Um, if you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section below. Um, if you kind of like to follow my news and um, whatever I get with my Tesla, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Till then, take care and peace.